السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ نحمد و نسلی و نسلم علی رسول الکریم اما بعد فقر قال اللہ عز و علا اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم قل یا عبادی الذین اسرفوا على انفسهم لا تقنطوا من رحمت اللہ صدق اللہ العظیم و صدق رسوله النبی الكریم ونحن على ذلك لمن الشاہدین والشاکرین والحمد للہ رب العالمین ایز اے یومن بینگ اینڈ اے بلیور اور ایٹیٹیوڈ دیٹ وی ڈسپلے ٹوڈز دا فیوچر انفلوئنس اور مائنڈ سیٹ ٹوڈز دا ریسٹ آف اور لائف امانگس دا گریٹسٹ موٹیویٹرز آف لائف فار اے یومن بینگ اینڈ مور اسپیسیفکلی فار اے بلیور از ٹو اڈاپٹ اے پازیٹیو ایٹیٹیوڈ اباؤٹ لائف اللہ سبحان و تعالی ہیز میڈ اٹ سچ دیٹ اے بلیور از آلویز پازیٹیو اینڈ شوڈ آلویز بی پازیٹیو اینڈ بینگ پازیٹیو اینڈ ہیونگ ہوپ از دا بیسٹ ایٹیٹیوڈ ٹوڈز دا ٹوڈز دا فیوچر ہوپ از ان ایکچوئل فیکٹ anticipation, belief, and confidence. And if we look at the entire life of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then we will find that the entire life of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a living example of the quality of hope in action. That Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam despite insurmountable odds and hardships nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam persevered nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam always exercised patience even though the enemy that nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam faced numerically were larger and stronger in number but yet despite all of this Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam never gave up hope of establishing this deen of Islam. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam never gave up hope and never failed to inspire those around him. When Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was instructed by Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala and given the mantle of nabuwat by Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala And Allah tabarak wa ta'ala then instructed Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to invite his relatives to Islam. No one believed Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. No one accepted the message of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam except a select few. In fact, the very family of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mocked at him and they mocked at those who accepted the invitation of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to the extent that when the tribe and the Quraysh and the family of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam requested his uncle Abu Talib to negotiate with Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in an attempt to have his influence minimized Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam at this juncture also displayed an attitude of positivity. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had a very positive attitude and with confidence Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to his uncle that oh my uncle even if they were to put the sun in my right hand and the moon in my left hand I will not deviate from my mission. Either I will succeed in my task or in trying to achieve the task that I want to achieve and in trying to achieve the mission and complete the mission that I want to com- complete, I will perish in that process. Thus, 
takes place at the time when the Muslim community were few in number and about to be under political as well as economic siege. But despite all of that, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam displays this attitude of positivity. If we look at the aspect of being positive with regards to a situation is concerned and not to despair in any situation, the good example and the best example that we can cite and give is the example of Khandaq, the battle of the trenches, where surrounded by a confederation of armies under siege, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam participates with his companions on the mashwara of Salman al-Farisi radiyallahu ta'ala anhu in digging a trench around the city of Medina. At that time, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam hits a rock with his pick and sparks fly. Salman Farsi, who gave the idea of the trench, asked Nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam that, O oh, Nabi of Allah, what is the bright sparks I saw? The three times you struck the rock with the pick. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam replied, as for the first strike, I saw in that spark the palaces of Sham, which Allah opened to us. As for the second strike, I saw the palaces of Persia and its bright cities, which Allah wa ta'ala had opened to us as well. And as for the third strike, Allah wa ta'ala presented us with the keys of Yemen and I saw the doors of Sana'a. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa was saying this to a group of people who were surrounded by enemies, not sure whether they would live to see the next day. Yet, he inspired them with his confidence and hopeful attitude, with hope of a glorious future, a glory that his people, the Sahaba Ridwanullahi ta'ala alayhi majma'een, eventually realized. So this is the type and examples that we can give from the history and the life and the seerah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam of the positivity that Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam displayed as far as the future was concerned. Allah wa ta'ala make it such that despite all the doom and gloom and despite all the negativity we find ourselves in, Allah wa ta'ala let us see the positive out of things and allow for us to be positive in as far, as far as our future is concerned. As a matter of fact, as a Muslim, as a Muslim, this is what I am governed by. The hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wherein Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned, Al-Iman bayn al-Khawfi wa raja Yes, fear I will have at the same time, Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, the Nabi of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala advised us that, we should have hope as well. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give each and every one of us the tawfiq of understanding the importance of being positive in life, the importance of having hope and not losing hope in the that of Allah wa ta'ala, not losing hope in the being of Allah wa ta'ala. As Muslims, our trust is in Allah, our tawakkul is in Allah, and whatever we do, we do it with that belief that Allah wa ta'ala knows what is best for us. Allah Tabarak grant each and every one of us positivity and a life of positivity and Allah subhanahu wa make it such that whatever difficulties we tend to face in whichever way Allah Tabarak remove those difficulties wa akhiru da'wana and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.